Hey, good morning, guys. So, uh, I got a slingshot here that needs to be tuned up. Um, so, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to uh, figure out what our draw length is. We're going to figure out uh, how long our band should be to our draw length. And we're going to go ahead and uh, trim them up, get them installed. And uh, we'll talk about slingshots in general. You guys stick around. So alright guys, when I first started my channel, I did a video on this little guy, and I believe I called it the best, uh, the best uh, slingshot on Amazon. Um, at the time, I was, uh, I, I, I believed it 100%. I could not believe that I took this guy out of the package and I was able to just destroy stuff. Um, but what I did do when I left out in that video was on how to tune up your bands to your, to your draw length. And uh, I want to go ahead and do that. Now you can see this guy's pretty, pretty short. Now. Uh, Reason being is, is when I do a draw, I bring that up, my anchor point's right up my cheek, I try to keep everything in line, nice and straight, stare down my bands, and I let it go. Now, with this guy, if you look at the two, at the two forks, forks are even length, and you can see the distance, the difference in, in, in length. Now, this guy is lacking a little bit of power, because we're not getting the maximum out of the bands that we have because they're too long. Now, if I was, for example, one of those guys that did like the, um, you know, like a partial butterfly or a full butterfly even, then I may even need a longer band set than this one. But if you can imagine, that would be way out there. And when I do that, I feel the same tension as I do with this at my draw length. So. How do we figure out what the draw length is that we need? Um, well, let's get into it. Sorry guys, there's a few things that you're gonna need to, uh, to get this uh, job done. Um, obviously we're gonna need our slingshot that we need to tune up. We are gonna need a tape measure to measure our, our, um, our draw length. We are gonna need a good pair of cutting scissors or a rotary cutter if you have one, which would be even better. Um, we're gonna need a replacement band I'm going to give you a quick look at what to look for to make sure that the bands that you bought are set up correctly or incorrectly. Uh, that can make a big difference in your shooting, which is why I am not as accurate with this one as I am with this one. So, um, and of course, you're going to need the tools that come with your uh, with your uh, slingshot if uh, if they do come with tools, um, and uh, you can use those to uh, take apart your slingshot and uh, prepare it for for the work we're going to get done. Um, so first things first, we're going to have a look at our uh, draw length and um, I'll show you how to do that. Sorry guys, it's time to tune our bands. Now, when I first started looking into this, uh, I really didn't have no my ass from my elbow. I had never even seen a slingshot like this. I only saw one of those old Daisy or Marksman ones uh, that have the, you know, the big two hook metal or metal rods where you slide the, the, the band over the, over the top of it. And you're able to pull and shoot. Uh, they weren't the, the greatest out there. They weren't the, the best slingshots. I mean, but they were a lot of fun for all of us. And that's what most of us grew up with using anyway. Um, but after seeing a couple of these guys, you know, on the net, I was kind of like, wow, that looks pretty cool. I bet you they could shoot pretty well too. So I uh, picked up uh, this guy first and this guy second. And uh, then I was trying to figure out, okay, well, this one came with a band that was a little bit longer than this one. This one came with a really, really long band. And I was trying to figure out, okay, well, what's going to be my draw length? So I started poking around online, and then I found uh, this website called uh, um, Simple Shot. Simple Shot's got a lot of good information on their website and on their YouTube channel. So if there's anything you need to look up, you can go ahead and check out there. You can, uh, they also sell slingshots and gear, uh, uh, accessories, two slingshots. Uh, ammo, uh, target boxes, all that kind of stuff. But that's where I started poking around and that's where I found out where well, they were talking about your, your draw length. So the first thing we're gonna wanna figure out is how long do you, how far do you like to pull your pull your bands? Where's your anchor point? Um, are you a butterfly shooter? You know, where you're stretching way out here? Or, or you, uh, do you like to um, do like an archery style where you find an anchor point where you like to put it and you, Make sure you got, got yourself a decent form and you're able to, to, to take a peek down your bands and get ready to shoot. Well, that's basically what we're gonna do, is we're gonna find out where our anchor point is 
and then we're gonna then I'll figure out uh, then I'll let you know how to figure out how long to cut your bands to get the maximum out of it. So basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold my slingshot the way I normally hold it, and I'm gonna stick this tape measure on there. We're gonna pull it back right back to my normal right back to my normal uh, spot right under my cheekbone, and we'll check my finger. And if you can see right here, I'm right at 30 inches. So the boys at Simple Shot were saying that the sweet spot of stretch is, is four or five times the relaxed state. So if my draw length is 60, uh, yeah, my draw length is 30 inches, at a relaxed state, our, our bands would be six inches. Now when I pull that back, at our, at our uh, 30 inch draw length, that's going to be five times the, the distance, five times stretch of the relaxed distance of this band. So six times five is 30. 30 inches is my draw length. That's what we're going to shoot at. So where do we measure from? Well, I'm going to bring you in close again. We're going to have a look at what we're going to do with our band to find out exactly where we want it to be. Then we're going to measure it up and cut it. So. All right, so before we get into cutting our, cutting our bands, I want you to take a quick close look at how this one is orientated. The pouch has these little, where the elastic bands attached to the pouch has got these little, these little flaps here. Now, you want these guys to be even and straight. Now, you could see that when they put it in, they folded it, they stuck it through the hole, wrapped it around, and tied it up. But both of them are even. They're both the same, okay? Hopefully you can see that. They're both the same. Nice and even. So the bands, when you attach them, and when you turn them sideways, they straight line. Straight line with the bands. I'm going to show you another one I got here. Now these ones I ordered. But you can see one of the ears is pointing off to the side here. This other one is going in the background. I've got... The bands are just kind of all over the place. This band set is set up nicely. Nice and even, it's gonna attach perfectly to our to our slingshot, but we just have to make sure we get the right length. So, so when we stretch these guys out, we don't wanna stretch them too far, just enough to get a, uh, a little bit of tension on them so they're even. You want them to be even as possible on both sides. So we're, we've got our measuring, uh, our ruler right here. We're gonna start with the very tip of the pouch. Oh. We're gonna start with the very tip of the pouch on the um, on the end, right at the uh, at the zero mark, and then we're going to stretch it out here, just so it stays even, not so one stretched more than the other. And we're going to put our finger down right here, and there we have six and a half inches. Now remember, I'd say you had to draw, you had to uh, drop that down by, uh, you want to times it by five, so uh, six inches times five gives us thirty, and what that means, we want a six inch band to start with. Now we'll measure that out, but we're going to do six and a half inches just to make sure that we're pretty even. We're going to mark that with a little, a little marker or a pen. And we got them both marked. So we'll pick them up, keep them as even as possible. We're going to take our nice sharp scissors and make a cut. Sorry guys, you'll see right here, I've... Um, I've uh, loosened things up, we got the clamps done, but this is why I cut that extra bit. So, in reality, this, this, uh, this slingshot here is actually closer to a half inch extra. This one is a little shorter at a quarter inch. So, what we're going to do is, that extra little quarter inch isn't going to make that much of a difference in, in the stretch. So I'm not too worried about that, but we're going to attach our, our band set to this now, and we're going to see how, how it looks. So I'm going to back you back up again. And uh, you can see how I do that. So you can see here we got our band set all screwed in nice and tight. But uh, you're going to want to make sure that your band set comes off that fork nice and straight. And then once you see this guy, you want to make sure that your ears are pointing in the right direction. Okay. Now once you got your bands on, now what I like to make sure I have is... I like to have the little tabs on the outsides, so it's not going to interfere with the ball on the release at all. When I pull the bands back, you see how it's kind of like, 
the bands lay flat over the top, pointing towards you, if you could see that. But when you turn it like this, you use your bands as part of your sighting. Now, once you got your um, once you got your band set all set up, you can check it by a few ways. You want to make sure that you you pull on the bands, make sure that they're nice, they're nice and secure, so they're not going to pop off and hit you in the face. Just have an overall look. Make sure nothing's loose. Everything's nice and firm and sturdy. Uh, you don't want to put these bolts on so tight that you're going to end up cutting through the rubber. Um, that's not a good idea. What I suggest is. Get them snug and give them a quarter turn to tight and leave it be. Um, that's always worked for me and I haven't had any of them pop off yet. Uh, which is good because getting hit in the face with a band always sucks. Um, so basically when you pull back your bands, you see how our bands are coming back into a nice, like a, like a letter V shape. Now the reason why this is important, so if you see when you turn it this way, hopefully you can see the bands, how the bands are like super, super thin. And that actually helps you with your aim. Now that we got our slingshots all tuned up and ready to go, and everything should be in perfect order to start or start start ripping some some bearings and some uh, some balls around. Uh, there's one thing, one other thing I want to talk to you about is ammo. Now, recently I've been just kind of roaming around outside, just shooting stuff, finding an interesting shot, trying to take it out. Um, but when you're using um, when you're using bearings, uh, that can get quite expensive. Now, bearings can be uh, a bit pricey. Well, at least they are in my area, trying to pick them up. Um, this is a 3.8 bearing. Now, the problem that I've found in the last little while with the ammo ammunition I've been using is I decided to go more towards a clay ball for a little while. Shooting a clay ball, fantastic if you're outside just messing around, you find yourself an interesting shot, you want to try it out. You know, you can fire off a bunch of these, they're going to go into the ground, they're, when next time it rains or if it snows or whatever it is, it's just going to get moist, it's going to melt and turn into dirt and you don't have to worry about the environment or anything like that. That's going to be set up real nice. Bearings on the other side are consistent weight per bearing all the time. I've weighed a whole bunch of these on my scale to see if there was any kind of difference in weight. They are bang on every single time. These 3.8 bearings <coughs> are a true 3.8 in size. They are a exact same weight on every single every single shot. So when you're practicing, uh, you know, if you want to join a tournament or whatever it is, and you're practicing and you're shooting constantly. Um, Always use the same ammo with the same band set. Match your ammo weight to your band set. And then once you get used to shooting that all the time, stick with it. And that's going to be your money shot all the time. Now, clay balls. Clay balls are great. You shoot, shoot these guys around. They're going to hit the ground. They're going to pop. They're going to blow up. They have a good twack when you hit things with them, which is always cool. They're Pretty much perfectly round, I'd have to say. Not so bad. The only thing is there's a size consistency problem. Some of them are big. Some of them are small. I mean, we're not talking much, but a couple of millimeters in either, either direction changes the weight. So if you're used to shooting these and they're heavy, well, these aren't going to drop as fast as these guys are because of the weight. But they're also not going to hit as hard either if you're trying to hunt with it. So let's, uh, let's go grab a handful of these little clay balls. And we're going to go and fire them at the, uh, at the pole across my across my backyard and see if we can land a couple of these guys or maybe we can uh, set up a target somehow up up on the up on the fence see if we can hit it should be fun so uh, let me take care of that and then we'll go try out this slingshot well we are gonna need a target and this beer can should do just fine sorry guys hopefully you can see that beer can kind of hanging off the back side of my tree there and uh, you might not be able to see it but hopefully you'll be able to hear it. It's got a good distance. We're at least we're at least 30, 35 feet away. So let's uh, let's get after it. Shooting high. 
There's one. Oh, that was a good one. So, all right, folks, there you have it. How to tune up your slingshot bands. We got this guy all set up and ready to go. It's shooting pretty good. I just need to get more practice in because it's been a while. And using this new ammo that I've never used before also was becoming a little tricky. I noticed that the uh, some of the balls were actually doing like a, like a knuckle ball. It was kind of weird. Uh, maybe some of them have a little flat spots and it catches the air and makes them wobble or something. I don't know, but... Um, once I got the aim, the aim set up on this guy going pretty good. Uh, everything was, uh, everything was, uh, everything got pretty accurate pretty quick. Uh, having, having the shorter bands is actually shooting the ball a lot faster than what it was before. So it took a bit of an adjustment, but once I got it, it was blink, 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 nonstop. So anyway, that said, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Get out and explore, and uh, we'll see you again soon. And uh, in the um, in the uh, in the end screen, I will attach this uh, this slingshot uh, review to it. Make sure you check it out. This guy is a little monster if you're looking for one. Now, before I go, I just wanted to mention to you guys that I do have two new slingshots coming. Uh, both of them are from Slim Simple Shot. One of them is called the Axiom Ocularis, which is looks like a really cool slingshot. I can't wait to try it. And the other one, and the other one is called the Scout LT, which is a new version of the old Scout that they had, which was a fantastic slingshot. But I've got both these guys coming uh, up and uh, coming up pretty soon, and we're gonna do a review on them. We're gonna hike out somewhere. We're gonna set up some. Uh, we're gonna set up some um, some targets, and we're gonna have a blast shooting them. So while we're testing these guys out. Now maybe we can uh, blow up some lighters and do some stuff, I don't know. Uh, but um, I also wanna get a, uh, make an, an indoor target uh, for my basement here so I can practice during the winter and I don't have too much of a dead time and and have to uh, snowshoe out to actually shoot stuff in winter time and stay on top of my game. So that's what we're gonna do. If you wanna see that build, please in the comments below let me know and I will make that build. Uh, I've got an idea in my head. You know, ATO is a bit of a mad scientist when it comes to that. So I've got uh, something in my head that I want to build. I want to try to build, put it into the basement, and we can uh, have fun shooting at targets uh, all, all winter long and stay in top form. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Get out and explore. I'll see you on the next one. And I appreciate you all, and I hope you like these slingshot videos. Be sure to leave in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. It's always fun messing around with a slingshot, eh? So, uh, in the description below, I'm going to add a couple of links, you know, where I get my stuff. And uh, for Simple Shot, in case you guys want to check out any resources or check out what products they have. But uh, I'll also add a link um, to my best uh, slingshot on Amazon uh, video I did on that top archery slingshot. It's a good one. You guys take care. Get on Explore.